people, are you ready? Are you ready for the ultimate tech startup competition? Let me hear it disrupt! Hello, my name is Saeed Jabrani. I'm the CEO of Amitabug, and we're here to revolutionize the way you report bugs on your mobile platform. Happen will revolutionize location-based mobile news aggregation as you know it. We're making the world a better place through Paxos algorithms for consensus protocols. And we're making the world a better place through software-defined data centers for cloud computing. A better place through canonical data models to communicate between endpoints. A better place through scalable, fault-tolerant distributed databases with acid transactions. And we are truly local mobile social. And we're completely so mo lo. And we're mo lo so. We're lo mo so, bro. We were so lo mo. But now we're mo lo so. No, mo so lo. CS90SI exists for one single reason to change the conversation about computer science and gear it towards social impact. If innovation is purely market driven, and we don't focus on the big inequities, then we could have amazing advances and inventions that leave the world even more divided. We won't improve public schools. We won't cure malaria. We won't end poverty. We won't develop the innovations poor farmers need to grow food in a changing climate. In the last few years, spontaneous people's protests erupted around the world. The Occupy movement, the Rise Up protest, the Arab Springs. In India, we had our own anti-corruption Jan Lukpal movement. However, there was a unique twist in the Indian story. A small faction of the anti-corruption protesters decided to form a political party. <laughs> जनतंत्र मतलब जनता का शासन आज तक बचपन से हम सुनते आए पढ़ते आए हमें पढ़ाया गया भुट्टी पिलाई गई स्कूल में भारत एक जनतंत्र है भारत एक जनतंत्र है हम पूछते थे जी क्यों जनतंत्र है कहते थे चुनाव होते हैं इसलिए जनतंत्र है पहली बार एक नई आइडियलिस्ट यंग जनरेशन के लोग कह रहे हैं नो आई डोंट वांट टू शन पॉलिटिक्स आई वांट टू ट्रांसफॉर्म पॉलिटिक्स My name is Kia Williams, and I'm the co-founder of Serum. There's no good way to dispose of medicine. Toilets, landfills, incinerators. Those are your only options, and each of those have significant environmental impacts. An estimated $5 billion worth of unused medicine is destroyed in the U.S. alone every year. Meanwhile, we know that healthcare costs are skyrocketing. Um, we know that cost is an issue for most Americans, and there are 50 million uninsured right now in the U.S. In fact, one-third of all people in the U.S. report difficulty paying for prescription drugs. We've got this unused medicine over here that's being destroyed. Meanwhile, we have millions of people who are going without the prescription drugs they need to function and to live good lives. And so what essentially we do is we connect the surplus with that need. Workers in factories around the world face a range of conditions. Uh, the most common reported conditions are verbal abuse and underpayment of wages. The problems that we see in global supply chains have been around for decades, but we're able to solve them with Labor Voices now, and the reason is this. 
using our system, we connect to workers in these factories through their mobile phones. We ask them questions about the fire safety conditions there uh, in their own factories. We aggregate this information up and we use this to advocate with brands to help fix those problems and also to bring the information all the way to consumers like you and me. Nobody wants to buy from a sweatshop, but the only way we can avoid it is if we know where our products are being made and under what conditions. Then we can vote with our dollars and reward brands that are actually paying attention to their supply chain. The possibility to change lives with computer science is one of the most exciting things for me and for the CS Plus Social Good team.